This is a video on the linear actuator, the JF0530B, uh, which has a 10 millimeter thrust, operates it up to 12 volts DC, and at, and at 12 volts it has a force of 5 newtons. Now to make this uh, component work, uh, it's not a very complicated circuit. Um, so you'll see that what I have is my um, actuator is powered directly from the 12 volt power supply over here. Okay, and as a matter of interest, I've done some testing on this actuator, and it shows that if I reduce the voltage down uh, less than 12 volts, it gets to a point where maybe at 6 volts, or it doesn't work anymore. So it's barely working. So you can work it on you know under 12 volts, but you're better off with at least 7 volts. I'll turn that to 7 volts now. And you will better get it to work, so with less force. Uh, also, the current draws less on lower voltage as well, as you would expect. You can see the needle deflecting there. And at 12 volts, the, def the deflection on the current would be even more. So going back to how this is wired up, um, you have your uh, actuator connected to your power supply, in this case my 12 volt DC power supply. Uh, and one end of that um, connection to the power supply goes via the this end of the relay. So I have a previous video on the, how to use relays. So this end of the relay has the NO and NC connections and the middle one is a COM. So you must have at least one of these wires going to COM and the other wire can go to NO standing for normally open or NC normally close. It doesn't really matter really. If you don't like it, just switch things around and uh, things will still work. Now this end of the relay, um, which is a 12, uh, sorry, a 5 volt relay, um, we have our three connections to the Arduino board. As you can see here, uh, of the three connections, um, we have red for positive, 5 volts, black for ground, and my purple lead there happens to be my signal uh, lead. So this is my signaling end of the Arduino, of the uh, relay. Uh, so, and this, this part here is powered from the Arduino and it controls the signal lead to the relay. Uh, and this is basically a separate circuit over here. Uh, and as for the code, um, so we can see that um, uh, we it's just one line on the top there for declaring the identity of the um, pin on my Arduino for my actuator. I've chosen a non PWM pin, so I don't use up my PWM pins. Uh, for the setup, just one line there for setting that the pin mode for the actuator pin will be output uh, because by default all uh, pins are input. So we change that to output. And for the loop, uh, all we need is just uh, basically one line really. Uh, digital right, pin actuator high or low. And I've got a delay there to switch between the two. And that explains the behavior of why this thing is going in and out every two seconds. So a very straightforward device um, which can be used for um, uh, automatic doors and so on, things like that.